人生系列是客户啊，人生系列因为“人生”这两个字哦，太简单，而且包含太大太多。World-renowned Taiwanese sculptor Ju Ming displays his exploration and understanding of life through his creation, the Living World series. The Hong Kong Museum of Art is now showcasing 120 sculptures Ju Ming created in the last three decades. In the first facet of the series, the affectionate world, Ju Ming expressed his concerns about human relationships and his love towards his family. It is quite personal as the work, A Girl Playing with Sand, portrays his newlywed wife on the beach. Ju Ming also looks at the living world from a wider perspective. In the floating world, he randomly captured human figures from all walks of life. He is not involved in the sculptures. The lack of details and facial expressions suggest they are strangers and leave room for interpretation. He is taking snapshots of the living world and transforming them into sculptures. He intentionally do not want to give uh, individual artwork a title because he wants the visitors to imagine what they're about. For instance, this set of 12 ladies, they seem to be chatting quite happily, but exactly what they are talking about is all, it's up to you to imagine. And why is there one particular lady that is not painted? Again, there is a certain room of imagination allowed to the visitor and uh, there's this space for interaction between the artwork and the visitors. Ju Ming's Living World series was first presented in wood, but it has gradually expanded into other art forms. The artist constantly uses new materials to elaborate on the beauty of body movements. He always say material has its own temperament, so each type of, of material is different. It all um, depends on whether you can handle it properly. For the swimmers, he used stainless steel to define the body parts so that it's sort of uh, portrayed how the human body comes out from water and when you're swimming then you probably have suntan lotion on top and your skin would become all shiny. It's really the user material has to fully uh, encapsulate that, that feeling of the human skin next to the swimming pool. In the piece Ballerina, Ju Ming used hemp cords to wrap and fasten large pieces of sponge. He retained the cords during the copper casting process, so the resulting sculpture combines the two contrasting textures of the sponge and copper. The third facet, Carefree World, marks a turning point in Ju Ming's creation expressing not only the aesthetics of forms, but exploring deeper philosophical questions of life. For the artwork cube, again, you will see frameworks, squares, and it is so also an abstract um, representation of limitation. Um, the artist is questioning whether civilization has been overdeveloped, whether we, mankind, has um, incurred limitations on ourselves, and if so, how do we break through? The three-piece set of sculptures, Imprisonment, explores the concept of imprisoning and self-imprisoning. The first cage contains a newlywed couple, but the key is left in the lock inside the cage. So who is really uh, putting them into cage? Are they free to go or are they willing to stay within this prison. The middle cage is half white and half black, with a person standing in each half. But then there is no boundary between them. There's nothing to separate them, and they can easily swap places. So again, who is being prisoned and who is being imprisoned? Whether this is a self-imposed imprisonment or whether it is something from external. In the third cage, prisoners were locked up with no means of escape. The three cages reverberate with questions on the issues of what limits us and who is setting these limits. We decide to be kind or 
evil, um, smart or foolish, it's all in a, a decision made by us, could be in a split of a second.